Hi there, I thought I'd share with you this video of this Amiga 500 motherboard that I've been trying to repair. Uh, basically, I've got another one over here, uh, which did work, um, and still does work actually. And what it did was I took all the chips out one by one, and, and I put them into here. So you can see on these chips, um, but you see the D there, that was means it was from originally the Duff machine. And I did all these Duff chips, I put in this unit over here. And it still booted, it still booted fine. So looking around the internet, um, I found some uh, forums and things like that. Uh, basically the symptoms of this one was, it would boot up with a black screen. There was a video signal that you could make out on a an oscilloscope and also the the tv see there it says no signal when it booted up with the black screen it would have a sync signal so the tv would lock to it and just show a black screen and occasionally it would be a gray screen now from this sort of forums and things i saw that these chips here the 74 series logic chips were possibly part of the problem so basically i swapped those out you see now they're on bases, still to no avail. And then I I had a RAM expansion pack with this machine, which had chips in it, and you can see they're gone now. Basically what I did, I replaced the chips on the motherboard, so you can see all the chips there I've taken out. I've replaced all those RAM chips there, and then I switched it on. And when you're waiting for it, this screen stays blank for a very long time. When you're not waiting for it, you can see that floppy disk almost immediately. But if you are waiting for it, there it is. And it's black and white there because I'm only using the composite video out. Uh, but I thought I'd share that with you because I've spent quite a bit of time on this and I didn't see anyone else that had had the same problem. I saw people who would have possibly po problems with the ROM and they said swap the ROM. But of course, I'd already done that already from the other machine. So the only thing left was the chip ran, which, lo and behold, it was that that was the problem. So I look forward to putting this machine back together and selling it on eBay. If you're interested, uh, send me a message. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.